did something, despite what's gone on, I've done something that I'm quite proud of recently. I have uh, just done a marathon. Thank you very much. Every single episode of Breaking Bad, back to back. Yeah. I, um, what, else, what else have I got to tell you? Basically, I'm, I'm a celiac, which means that I'm gluten-free. Uh, basically, it means I can't eat bread. There's still a few people out there that when you tell them that, they seem to get offended, right? And what I'd like to say to those people is, I think you'd be more offended if I ate bread and loudly shit myself on your floor. <laughs> Enjoy your sandwich. See you later. I'm off. Speaking of offence as well, the church are happy to offend us because they've decided they're not going to serve gluten-free communion wafers anymore. Because apparently, if it's not got wheat in it, it's not the body of Christ. <laughs> Mental, right? I missed the Sunday school lesson where they taught us that Jesus' body was 60% water, 40% wheat flour. <laughs> Throwing a bit of yeast and then he would have fucking risen, wouldn't he? Being, uh, being a celiac means that I have to go to like wanky brunch places because they cater for me. But uh, they often embellish their menu and make it sound better than it actually is. So the other day, I got offered carrot and quinoa falafel, fine, with hung yoghurt. I don't know about you, but I don't like my yoghurt with a massive cock in it. <laughs> I also bumped into a really angry man and he told me in no uncertain terms, he said, I don't believe in being gluten-free. And I went, oh, really? Why is that? And he went, because I've never seen a duck turn down bread. And I thought, that's the way we're living these days, is it? I haven't got a pension because I've never seen an eel fill out the form. <laughs> and this guy wanted to argue with me, but look at me, like I'm still scared of reheating rice. So I sort of like tried to sidle away from him and he shouted after me, you're a bready prick and you need to grow up, right? <laughs> to be fair to him, bready prick is very funny, take it and use it. The thing that upset me was grow up because I'm actually almost 30. I, I know I don't look almost 30. I very much look like an Edwardian prince has found some H&M vouchers. <laughs> my liege. Also, with, the, with my hair the way it is at the moment, I kind of look like a, uh, like a Lego choir boy. So they're my little vibes I'm giving off. But uh, I get ID'd for everything all the time. So I've actually written a song that I'm going to play for you guys. Perfect. So, I got ID'd for alcohol. That's all right. It's better than paracetamol Because you have to be over 16 I got id would buying glue Like the kind that you give to your kids Actual genuine PVA glue The kind that comes in a cartoon tube I got id would buying Tipex They thought I was using it for drugs If I wanted to get high You'd think that I'd buy my supplies from a fucking Ryman's I got id would as I went to a club by a bouncer who was younger than I was and as he worked out my age he was so shocked and he screamed in my face fuck off like I was in the wrong for looking so young and not clearly displaying my age but I can't grow a beard and I've tried all these years and I'm confident it's not a stage this one hurt I got ID'd for non-alcoholic beer I'm talking 0.0% I didn't have my ID on me which is something I've come to lament because she wouldn't serve me and I had to leave without the four pack I was feeling aggrieved and I went to the car park to explain to my brother I was refused service for effectively some fizzy water and bubbles guys and it still wasn't the worst one the worst one was I got ID'd for Christmas crackers I'm gonna say that again I got ID'd for Christmas crackers and I thought that this has to end, and I thought I'm gonna have a bit of fun with this guy. So I went, look, of course you can see my ID, but would you also like to see my pubes as well? <laughs> and he went, no, absolutely not. Which is good news for me, because I haven't actually got any yet. So, thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh... I often, I often get asked, like, have you got any secrets for looking young? And people are very disappointed when I tell them that I, I don't drink alcohol and I don't do drugs. A funny thing happens to British people when you tell them that you don't drink. They tell you, to your face, they don't trust you. Huh. <laughs> I sat down with a lady for a, for a date and I went, oh no, I don't drink alcohol. And she went, no thank you, not for me, and walked off. Fuck that, like a live game of Tinder. See you later. <laughs> she was out the door. The other thing I don't do is I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs for the reason that when my friends are going out to buy drugs, they're often worried they might have been cut down with, like, rat poison or flour. So their high might not be as strong. Being a celiac, I'm worried that flour might not be gluten-free. 
Nothing's happening.